Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you some of the optional playback settings and a couple little tips uh, for sharing Google Drive videos in Google Slides. My name is Tyler Osborne. So I'm in my Google Slide presentation right now and I have a video that I've already inserted from Google Drive. If you don't know how to do that, I have another video tutorial that shows that. So there are some options on how to edit or how to um, set up your Google Drive video. Now, to get the um, drive options, what you need to do is you need to actually click on the video. See how the toolbar changes depending on what you click on? If I click on the video, I get this video options button. And this is one of the things that I want to show. So I'm gonna press the video options button. And we have a few different options that we, we should really look at. Let's say I have a video hosted in my Google Drive that I don't need whatever um, sound is there. I just want to talk to the video in my presentation. I might mute the audio so that when it plays, there's no audio to go with it. I could also press the autoplay when presenting. As it's set up right now, as I'm going through my slideshow presentation, I'm actually going to have to click this play button in order for the video to start. Sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you can just go to the next slide and the video can already be playing. So I'm going to try that option out. Now, let's say you don't want to show the entire video. There's only a 20 second chunk that you actually want to do. So what we can do is we can actually edit that. Let's say I want to start at second 50 and I only want to go to one minute and 10 seconds. So I'm just going to show a 20 um, second chunk of this video. When it auto plays, it's going to jump right to 50, uh, the second, the 50 second mark, and it'll stop playing after 20 seconds. So I'll show you how that works. To see all this, I'm going to press present. Oh, here I'll back up. I'm going through my slideshow presentation. And it should just auto play. Here it goes. And you can see that it jumped right to second 50. And then it's going to actually stop right here. Now, if I wanted to, while I'm doing the presentation, I could click this X and it would actually show the entire thing. I can still do full screen, uh, which is a great option. And it should uh, stop in a second here. So this is one of my video tutorials that's playing right now. Let's see, it should stop, right? There it is, and it stopped. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of this. Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to show you that's really important. Um, if you're sharing this slideshow presentation, because your video is, is uh, actually stored inside of Google Drive, it's really important to make sure that you share the video. Because uh, otherwise, you're going to give the slideshow presentation to other people. They'll get the slideshow, but it won't automatically share any of the linked videos. So in order for them to be able to see the videos, what you need to do is you need to find the video in your Google Drive. So let's say this is the video that I shared. It isn't, but let's say it was. In order to share this video, I need to right click on the video, go to share, and then I can enter in specific names, or if I want to, to share it with a whole group, I go to advanced. Right now it's set to private, let's change it. If you're only going to share it with people inside your own school division or domain, then one of these bottom two options would work. However, if you're sharing it um, like at a conference or you want uh, people generally on the internet to be able to find it, go with one of the top two. Now, public on the web means that people can search for it in Google. Anyone with a link means that you actually have to share that link, um, but it is public. You don't have to worry about permissions. This is the one that I use the most. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to press Save. And then I press Done. This means that the video would be shared with everybody uh, when you share the presentation. You don't have to worry about permissions because it would be really embarrassing to give a presentation, share your slide deck, and then none of the videos work because you didn't actually share those videos. So just remember that sharing option is there. All right, that's all that you need to know about those optional um, settings for uh, Google Drive videos inside of Google Slides. If you like this video, please consider leaving some feedback on my Google form on the website, or better yet, leave a comment in the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.